Domestic violence isn't a topic that is talked about very often, as it is known as a silent problem. Many survivors delay leaving their abuser because they can't take their pet with them to the shelter, as sadly, only about 15% of domestic violence shelters in the U.S. even allow pets. Journalist, nationally syndicated talk show host, and pet lover Tamron Hall is shining a light on this area of abuse and what is being done to keep pets and people together. Good morning, Tamron. With October being Domestic Violence Awareness Month, can you tell us a bit about your advocacy work for domestic violence survivors? Well, I've been working um, with survivors of domestic violence and organizations who help them for uh, almost 10 years now after the death of my sister who lived in a home where there was domestic violence that even I witnessed. And after her death, I wanted to find a way to do more. To be honest with you, I struggled with guilt um, of not knowing quite how to handle what I'd witnessed with her. And as an extension of the work that I've done for these many years, I was approached by Purina and Red Rover with a statistic that I had never heard of. 48% of survivors delay leaving an abuser because they can't take their pet with them. And it's not because the shelters don't want our fur family members. They're not equipped. So the goal with Purina and Red Rover is to change that and provide grants for shelters around the country so that they can accept survivors and their loved ones who are fur family members. Tell us more about the Purple Leash Project and why you got involved. So you can show your solidarity by simply wearing purple, or even putting a purple leash on your pet and using the hashtag, or donate if you're able to. I can tell you we are so pleased that already this year, 10 shelters around the country have been provided grants to have equipment on site to help welcome pets as well. And that means, what does that look like? Outdoor play areas, indoor things for cats, so that the healing process begins with the entire family and not half of the family still in a dangerous place being the pet and the other half in the shelter or worse an individual choosing not to leave a violent home because they can't take the pet with them. The goal is by 2025 to have 25 percent of the shelters equipped around the country and also tackle legislation so that we can increase the number of shelters around the country who can accept pets along with their surviving family members. How has the Purple Leash Project impacted survivors and pets within the last year? The numbers have increased. You know, 10% of the shelters in 2019 were able to accept pets along with family members. Now we're at 15%. And that is a great jump in a short period of time. But we know there's more work that needs to be done. And that work includes talking to you, using my platform, going on as many places and shows as possible to spread the word and asking repeatedly for those who can hear me. Go to purpleleashproject.com. I've had dogs my entire life. I have a son who is two and a half years old. Both have provided me with the greatest unconditional love that I could ever have imagined. But sometimes we say pets don't, we don't deserve that kind of love for, from a pet. I understand that. And my chihuahua, May Love, passed away last year. Um, but on my best days, on my happiest days, on my worst days, she was right there. So I understand the love of a pet, and I understand the commitment to helping survivors of domestic violence. It is my life mission to do as much as possible, and this includes it. Such an unconditional love from a pet, for sure. Thank you, Tamron. In order, or in, if you or someone you know is in need of help, call the 24-7 Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-SAFE, S-A-F-E, to learn more about the initiative to keep pets and people together. Go to purpleleashproject.com.